Hello, my sisters. Thank y'all so much for coming back. I love y'all. You know that already, right? Let's say prayers. And now I already got my I already got my cocktail in my hand. Let's say prayers. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, blessed, and awesome day. Thank you for divine favor, mercy, and grace. Your love, your kindness. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Whew. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So the cocktail this today is grapefruit vodka from New Amsterdam with a little grapefruit juice and a lime. I'm just toasting just to say thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank you, my sisters, my newcomers. This is a toast for you. Salud, salud. Sip, sip, sip. The good stuff. Oh, oh. So all my new subscribers, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That notification bell, ding, dong, ding, dong. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. So, y'all, you know, when we heard the news, um... On Sunday for Kobe Bryant's family and all the others was on on that um, that helicopter and the news I got from my own family of the loss of my last living uncle I only did a five minute video because my heart was so heavy I'm better today so I want to bring back that food that I had that day to let y'all see what I was eating now the okra, uh, once again, is from my mother's garden. I told you she has a great, great vegetable garden, so she gives me a lot of stuff. And so this is it. And uh, this is uh, roasted uh, fire tomatoes. And I uh, drained some whole kernel corn and put the uh, whole kernel corn in it as well and smothered it down with just a little of uh, tomato tomato sauce. And of course, you know, all the vegetables, the onions, the garlic, the celery, and all that stuff is there. And of course, you know, I have that wing of the turkey. I love wings, period. I'm, I'm learning that, uh, and it's smothered in, in mushroom gravy. So that's my meal today. I'm learning that I'm getting older and poultry is not agreeing with me. And I'm thinking like, well, chicken wings and turkey wings are my all-time favorite, but it's not green with my tummy anymore. So I think things are changing in my body. Hmm. I guess that's what we go through when we do get older. Okay, y'all, I think I'm going to go back to my life, my story. Um, my life goes on. I think I left off with the message that, you know, men today, they want to be a little sneaky, leaving their underwear in your bathroom, thinking you won't even see it beside that, uh, <laughs> the bathtub and <laughs> the, the toilet. Mmm, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all hear that crunch? That okra still got that crunch, y'all. That fresh okra from Mother's Garden. I wish y'all can have some. So everything out of her garden is really good. Uh, so, what relationship did I have after that one? None. I think we moved. There were so many elements of my story. Y'all give me a day to think about it. Her, my mind has been on so many other things. Let's just talk today. Are y'all still thinking about 
Kobe Bryant. I don't know. Me and my best friend was talking about it last evening as well. The tragic, just. Oh, and then she told me something about a uh, a, a prophet. Uh, uh, he, this guy, prophesied. She sent it to me, and I listened to him. I do believe in prophets. I know my Bible. But he spoke something in 2011. And things have happened. So, you know, I think it's in the book of Acts that it says in the last days. Your your uh your children, your boys and girls will, will prophesy. That's what he was doing. He said something about the weather. He said something about a um a tragic loss from an NBA player. Uh he said some things that we see now. So I don't know. I just know that when I choose to listen. The people, I, I want to open up my Bible and see what they're saying. I know Acts, it says that. So, yeah. What do y'all think? Do y'all believe uh, prophets? Uh, people who call things to be... I do, in a sense, because I know my Bible. I just don't want to be misled, <laughs> you know? Because the Bible also stated that in the last days, uh, that Antichrist would even fool the elite believers. So... I want to be careful who I follow. One thing I have taught for many, many years, study the people that come in your pathway. Everybody's not worthy to be in your private space. Mm -mm. Some people you just got to leave on the outside. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not supposed to be your friend. Everybody's not supposed to hang around you. They just can't do it. Can't let them take a bite. Mm -hmm, it's good. Look bad enough, really. Do y'all believe that some people just come to you for what they want? I believe that. And then when you give them everything that they want, that they believe. Mm -hmm. Well, I just Tyler Perry said it well. I, I I still have a video where he was talking to that guy. And he was talking about the tree, the branches, the leaves. That's a great analogy. You know... I mean, my circle is, this is my circle, y'all. Not talking about my intermediate family, but we're not even close-knit either. But my circle is small. I have me and two best, best friends. One person that I met, I struggle, always wondering, you know, do she really want to be a, a friend? Because friends today, y'all, oh Lord, it's difficult, just like relationships. You know, the two best friends that I had in my life, I met them on two separate occasions now. 
One, I met at my first first trail ride years ago. My barber gave was a part of a, a trail ride, and he gave me a free ticket to get in. And I'm thinking like, okay, this is interesting. He told me to ask for a particular person at the gate. <laughs> so when I got to the gate, I said, she don't mind me saying her name on here. I said, is there a Betty Lyle here? She said, yeah, and who wants to know? <laughs> that We just connected. And we've been friends mm -hmm, ever since. That was years ago. It just happened. You, you know, you just meet a stranger and, you know, friendship just happened. Without you doing anything, it just comes together. My next, I mean, me and, me and Lord have had some disagreements, but it's nothing that's going to take our friendship away unless it's God. It ain't going to happen. Y'all look at that. Ooh, I don't want that. That's a big old uh, vein. When I see stuff like that, my, it turns my stomach out. But I'm going to eat this turkey. <laughs> My next one, she don't mind me saying her name on here either. So I'm going to say it. Dion. I met her through her daughter years ago. Now, Dion did tell me she was a little iffy about me. Because, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm that personal girl. You know, I'm that free spirit. That's me. But when she got to know me, she ain't forced nothing either. I think it was the second time she saw me. We were friends. We're still friends. Today, years ago. I think sometimes some people who've never had good, true, honest friends. Don't know. Some people just don't know how to be a friend. They don't know it. You know, I'm a true lover because God taught me. I love people near and far. You don't have to be in my immediate circle for me to love you. I'm still going to love you. You're going to know it because I'm going to tell you. But I just think in today's time, everybody's about themselves. And they don't know how to be a friend. So, and that's okay, though. Some people are loners. I'm not a loner, y'all. <laughs> I love people. I'm going to tell y'all something. I, I didn't have love in my childhood, y'all. I did not have love. I, would never, I was never taught love. And that was the one thing that I was missing because when you're around other people and you see the love for mother and father and their children... You just got so empty inside because it was not you. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all, when I asked God to do it for me, he did it. I don't know no other way but to love. If God puts you in my path, I know it's for a reason. It may be temporary or it can be permanent. I just want to believe he blessed me with discernment to know what it is. Because sometimes in my past, I, I, I held on to people more and longer than I was supposed to. Mm -hmm. I think all of us have. We still doing it today in relationships more. Regardless of what the relationship is, we hold on to people a little longer. But I know when somebody comes in my pathway, it's a blessing or a lesson. If not both. So I want to do what God wants me to do. I pray that the sermon is on me that I know what to do because, you know, all the time you don't know why. I just know that it happened. 
So yeah, I uh, I just want to love, and I want love. Somebody did a quote yesterday on Facebook, and I'm gonna do a curse word because that's what was in it. Let's swallow my food. It said, stop fucking with the people you love and fuck with the people who love you. Did y'all get that? It said, read it twice. I did. I had to read it. I read it three times, actually. And I was on the phone with my best friend. And after I read it for the third time, we got it. So let me say it for a second time. It said, stop fucking with the people you love and fuck with the people that love you. It makes a lot of sense, don't it? It did to me. Comment below if you got it. Now, sometimes we overlook those who love us because we love somebody else the best, huh? The most. When we weren't supposed to. <laughs> and I'll say that to just put it with um, relationships when you meet somebody. You got two men. Y'all, this food's so good. I think y'all gonna see me eat all this. Um, you got two men. One is short. One is tall. The short one have every attribute that you like. He smell good. He's very groomed. He got that hair. He's dressed well. He's very intelligent. And then you got that man on the side. He tall. He got some good attributes himself. He smell good. He tall. He tall. He got stuff going good for him too. Now, the choice is which one. That short man that's right here to you, you like him. But then you, you got that gentle giant as well, who you choose. Or uh, even better yet, you got one white and one black, one Hispanic, one black, one Italian, one black. What do you choose? <laughs> Sometimes we choose what is pleasant and what we think is good to our own eye. When we were supposed to choose the other one. <laughs> so when it don't work with the one you chose, you wonder, shit, I should have picked the other dude. I'm learning. I'm learning. Everybody has to have an attraction. You know, not necessary. Well, chemistry and attraction, I guess it goes together, huh? But sometimes you can be so attracted and that, that chemistry can be so doggone good, it fizzles out as fast as it grew and came in. You lose it. Just as fast. So you have to be careful with that microwavable stuff. It has burned me a couple of times. Even here recent, y'all. I met this guy. Well, we just uh, chit-chatted. And hmm, what's that? We had the best conversations, man. We was on the same page on everything. But it was more sexual attraction than it was anything. I didn't do it. But at no, just as soon as we were so elated and so glad to talk and we had the best conversation, it was so in-depth. It fills it out just as fast. He sent me a text a uh, day for yesterday, Sunday. It was Sunday, my, Saturday or Sunday. And his sex to me, I mean his sex, his sex to me, what's on the brain? But so awful, I deleted every single text we did, every one of them. I thought it was very inappropriate. I ain't going to tell y'all what he said. But here again, y'all, with every relationship that comes in our lives, Be careful, once again, who you allow in your private space. Some people you have to entertain on outside. 
Did y'all hear what I said? Some people, you have to entertain outside. They don't need to be in your house. And I'll say that one more time, and I'm going to mean that on a sexual manner. Some people, you got to treat on the outside, not on the inside. Be careful. <laughs> I'm going to stop that right there. We're going to pick this topic up again. Comment below if you agree or if you disagree. It's all about communication, baby. Thank y'all so much for joining me again. Thank you for my new subscribers. I, I still, I'm still getting new subscribers, y'all. I'm going to be at 100 in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be at 100 in a minute, baby. I'm ready. I hope that 100 goes to 1,000. That 1,000 goes to 100,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm waiting on it. Well, one, well the 1,000 go to 10,000. And then the 10,000 to 100,000. Or if you want to jump to a million, I'm, I'm, also, I'm good about that too. So thank y'all. Now, all the ones who's joining are one of my subscribers who shared me with you. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. I'll see you guys again really, 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 really soon. And y'all already know what I'm about to say, huh? Comment below. I'm not going to say it right now, but comment below what y'all know I always say. With that said, and I need to close my eyes for my, my husband that's going to find me. Here you go. Bye, y'all.